Heavy winds, snow, lower temperatures. Lebanon is being hit by a storm, making the lives of the nearly one million Syrian refugees even more miserable. They face many challenges during the winter months, among them the lack of proper shelter. They live in tents that are made from plastic sheeting, which does little to protect from the cold and the rain. We couldn't sleep all night. The tent was flooded. We stayed up and moved all our belongings outside. The conditions of our tents are bad. It's the Shabli family's seventh winter in displacement since fleeing the conflict in neighboring Syria. In winter, the refugees require more help. They need fuel for heating, thermal blankets and warm clothes. We are dead. We are living in misery. We have nothing but pain, sickness and suffering. We are deprived of everything. Families like the Abdul Hamads can't survive without assistance. Ahmad, the father, is half blind. The youngest child, Sabrine, is mentally challenged. The eldest has heart disease, and their mother suffers from asthma and eczema. I need medicine and I need help. We all cannot work. We don't have wood and fuel to keep warm. We're living only by God's mercy. I may be kicked out of this tent soon because I didn't pay the rent for a long time. The United Nations does provide some assistance, but a shortfall in funding means not everyone is reached. The United Nations doesn't just help the more than 5 million Syrian refugees in neighboring countries. It says 13 million people need help in Syria. Six million of them are internally displaced. And the displacement continues. In recent weeks, more than 200,000 people were forced to leave their homes. The war is not over. It may be a while before these refugees can go home. The Lebanese government doesn't want them to stay. That is why it has prevented the United Nations from building permanent camps. It also doesn't allow any concrete construction. But this may not be their last harsh winter in exile. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Bekaa Valley, Lebanon.